Okay, I've been to see the farmer. He's very happy. Now I'm out in the field and I'm going to go detect him. I wasn't really sure what program to use today and then I remembered. I keep getting questions from people about can I get to grips with the dais? How hard is it to use? That kind of thing. It isn't. So I'm going to run basic one and dais fast today and I'm going to prove it. But let's see what comes up. Let's get stuck in and then we'll chat more about that at the end. Maybe do some little tests as well and give you an idea of what we're talking about. somewhere. What are you? What are you? Oh blimey. Tiddler. A little tiddler. Stuck in the mud. Oh there she is. Cool. That gave me the run around. Just a modern bit of machinery metal. Nothing major. Okay right up near the surface this one. Right by the surface. So, should. Ah. Cool, and no I wonder it gave a good signal. Ah, it's my first cow tube for a while. I would say welcome back, but it's never welcome. Okay, so this was an absolute booming target. It wasn't particularly deep, but it is wafer, wafer thin. Oh, this wind, I hope you can hear me. An absolutely tiny wafer thin disc. Now there does appear to be something on that, um, I'm not sure. That's going to take a lot of cleaning. That is thinner than most hammers, to be honest, or at least equal thin as hammers. Um, I can't see anything that indicates a fixing. I don't know, I just don't know. If there's one thing I love about basic one, it's the way the good signals just boom out at you. They really do. That was a 79 on the numbers. And an absolute crystal clear signal. It just allocates really well. Okay, this time it's only a cow tube. That's unlucky. But what a signal. Um, and I'm getting that way back there. The other thing about basic one as well, it's got pretty damn good depth. Okay, that was a bit of a scratchy one, and I didn't think it would be very much, um, but it did clean up. And I can see it, you can't, because it's behind there, but I'm grinning from here to here now. Um, I've gone from basic one into Deus fast. Two preset programs. I've not messed about with the machine at all. This is my first target, I kid you not, my first target on Deus Fast. This is a George V, and that is a 1936 sixpence. How lovely is that? I'm chuffed to bits. I haven't had a George V sixpence in absolutely ages. And that is in a preset program. As I say, the signal wasn't pure, but it was definitely a dig. Well, otherwise I wouldn't have dug it, would I? Um, but, and then it cleaned up. So, you know, the point I'm trying to make here is the presets are good. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist to use the dais. There you go. King George, good day to you, sir. How the devil are you? Oh, you've got a bit of a scratch on the head. Oh dear, I don't think I did that. Okay, lovely target, 65 on the numbers, and in Deus Fast, that gives us a mid-tone. I'm really sorry I can't do tones here, but it's just too windy. But it was an absolute crisp, clear signal. Um, just lovely. Hey presto, it's in the first clod. And hey presto, <laughs> it's a bit of rubbish. But, uh, yeah, I mean, don't be scared to use the presets and don't be worried. They're very, very good programs. Okay, folks, we have a piece of iron, an iron nail, about a two inch nail, and literally 
no more than four inches away from it is a Lizzie hammered. It's not the smallest hammered, but it's still quite thin. Let's see how the basic programs straight out the out the box cope with this. Are we ready then? Right. Yes, we are. This is basic one. You notice that it struggles with the numbers because it's discriminating out the iron. But once, once you find that target, no problem. Sorry about the shadows, by the way. And a nice bit of depth on basic one too, not bad at all. Of course these are only air tests, but uh, this gives you an idea of the effectiveness of this machine straight out the box. Right, moving on. GM power. Got the iron tone on that one, but it separates the two at four inches very, very nicely with an average kind of swing speed. And again, the numbers kick in. Right, day is fast. What about pitch? Cool, I like that. Cool, I'm not missing that. G Max, deep. Won't bother with wet beach and dry beach, obviously. Hot program. There you go. Okay, so I was quite impressed with that, really. I mean, I honestly didn't know what to expect because I've not done it in the house like that before. Didn't really do a lot of pre testing. Just going on my own hunch, really. Um, but there you go. You know, that's straight out the box. So I don't work for XP, and I'm not telling anybody to buy an XP Deus. This video is for the people that are considering it and who would like to buy one because it's light and it's quite easy to use from an ergonomics point of view, that kind of thing. But they're worried that they need a degree in rocket science in order to use it. You don't, okay? You don't. It's fine just the way it is, it performs well, it will find you plenty of stuff and you can slowly learn the little nuances and the things you can do with it over time. Okay, but if you start at square one, it doesn't mean you're not going to get performance. So for all those people that are considering buying this, I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, the choice at the end of the day of which metal detector you do buy is entirely up to you. But that's just for the people that think that this thing, you have to be Albert Einstein to use it. You don't. You can buy it, switch it on, go detect, it will find your stuff. Okay? Thanks for watching, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you soon.